Train the muscles, not the joints. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different than what you're used to. It's a day in the life, okay? So lots of the weird stuff going on. And this footage has been done, uh, or was done about three weeks ago. So just so you know, I'm mixing and matching the footage. Sometimes I'm doing really recent stuff. Sometimes I'm doing stuff from three weeks ago. I have such a backlog of footage that I haven't used yet. So I wanna make sure I get that stuff to you guys as well. So yeah, enjoy this. There's gonna be lots of little things. Uh, me going to pick up books at the post office, going to uh, sushi, uh, stuffing myself silly, and then going to the gym. The latter half of the video is me at the gym. Uh, so if you don't like any of the sort of personal stupid stuff, then yeah, you can just fast forward to the last half of the video. But the first half is me being silly and doing weird stuff and, and at the same time having something to eat. So I talk about nutrition a little bit as well. If you're interested in that, just check that out and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. All right. All right. I'm going to do a day workout today. I've been doing a lot of night workouts, but I'm going to do a day workout because it's prettier. Prettier in the gym to do a day workout. And I'm going to go to the post office and I got my GoPro there. Got my GoPro, okay? So uh, I'm gonna go to the post office and I will uh, take you along with me, all right? I gotta go pick up some books. It's just books. These are good books, actually, so thanks. You know who you are, thanks for the books. I like fantasy books, okay, guys? So if you wonder what kind of books they are, nothing bad, nothing ungalantian, uh, just books on uh, fantasy. I like, okay, if you guys read fantasy novels or sci-fi, uh, one person you'd really like to read is Robin Hobb or Patrick Rothfuss or uh, Terry Brooks is good. George R. Martin was pretty good, too. Um, Anyway, uh, whatever. That's 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 some of my favorite authors. Just a quick quick uh, bunch of random facts about me. So yeah, let's let's go. Let's go to the gym, and hopefully, I find inspiration to train along the way. parking spaces. All right, let's uh let's do a spontaneous book review. I use my keys. Use my keys. Like Fort Knox in here. Better be gold in here. I don't even want the books anymore. Better be gold. Okay, there you go. Assassin's Apprentice. So thanks, Nicola. Yeah. Assassin's Apprentice, one of the best books I've ever read. One of the best fantasy books. So if you guys are into fantasy stuff, unbelievable book. So thanks a lot for sending this. So I'm gonna reread this series. It's great. Oh, there I am. There I am. It's a better looking version, you know, but yeah, that, that's the Galantian right there. Right on. Perfect. That's a fantasy book you should check out. It's an old school one, but pretty good. Now on to living real life fantasy as Jason the Galantian. Okay, so I'm doing a tuna meal and rice before my workout. And I know a lot of people don't eat before their workouts and stuff, but when I'm eating low fat, I do find that it's necessary for me to make sure I have enough glycogen, the muscles and protein the things for me to do a long workout. If I go in there hungry, then I'm always distracted with that and I find I feel flat and everything. So uh, you have to go on how you feel with this, but this is just me. It might be my own individual sort of weaknesses and, and, uh, and wimpiness that uh, demands this sort of <laughs> strategy. So if you uh, feel like uh, eating anything is bad for you before the gym, by all means, don't do it. And yeah, the, the standard protocol is to stay with stable blood sugar type food and uh, then go in the gym and then your blood sugar stable, you should have lots of energy and so forth, right? Um, but I find when I'm on different types of eating, different types of diets or nutrition programs, um, then my patterns will have to change accordingly because there will be different energy dips and valleys and, and stability, right? So you have to kind of go with this. So yeah, this is, uh, I actually complained because he said that uh, I'm here at Yale Sushi and he said to me, he said that the Donbury, the tuna on rice is $21 and I thought, oh, okay, that's pretty expensive. Like usually it's about five or six dollars cheaper than that. 
And he goes, oh, but mine's much bigger. And I'm like, yeah, sure. You know, because most of the sushi places I go to, it's not really very big, right? Anyway, he sent me this bowl. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's a lot more tuna. That's that's quite a bit more tuna. So, hey, uh, good for you, Yale Sushi. Still the best place in Chilliwack so far. So, yeah, shout out to him. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to get to the gym without crawling to the gym and uh, be able to train. I might just roll myself through the front door. I think that'll work. Just, I'll just roll in there. Well, that was about the biggest Donbury I've ever seen. And that's not a metaphor. That's, that's literally, it's a Donbury. It's a bowl with tuna on it, like rice and tuna. That was huge. I guess I shouldn't have complained that Donburys are usually not worth the money. But, but man, you sure taught me a lesson. I'm stuffed. Huh. All right, let's 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 go get a coffee. <laughs> See, I'm not that stuffed. My stomach will prevail. Okay, so you've won this time, Yale Sushi. I will get you next time. I will finish the whole bowl. I couldn't finish the whole bowl. Galanteans always win. We always win. Well, I feel like a seagull. Now I think I know what seagulls feel like. So stuffed. I gotta wait here now to digest this. I didn't expect it to be that big, but... Okay, yeah, so... That said, big, big meals before our workout, maybe not the best idea, but uh, this was kind of forced upon me, so not my fault. It's not my fault. But as a Galantian, I rose to the challenge. That's what's important. Oh yeah, and by the way, some of you guys are asking to meet me in person, or you're so interested to meet me in person. Trust me, I'm a lot more interesting in a video than I am in real life. I'm actually pretty boring. I just work out, eat, do a lot of video editing, make some music, dance around the neighborhood. Make smart ass comments to people around me. Say things that are inappropriate socially, apparently, you know. Sometimes I'm a little bit too personal. Yeah, this stuff's really inconvenient to have in your life in person, but it's kind of fun to watch on YouTube. So yeah, just count your blessings that you don't know me in person. Just count your blessings. And just, you know, if you do meet me in person, just know that I will be playing my music and get ready to break it on down. I mean, I'm not gonna let you get away with just saying, hey Jason, how's it going? I know you're from YouTube. No, no, you're gonna actually have to uh, deal with me setting up the camera playing music and then you're gonna have to pop and lock or do whatever dance It is that you do to my music because obviously you must listen to my music, right? Obviously, so you're probably practicing Dance moves at home when nobody's looking and then finally this is your five minutes of fame so I can, I can put you on YouTube so Be ready for that be ready for it Today I'm gonna do a whole body workout again uh, because I feel like it uh, but I will see what's going on because it feels like my upper back muscles are a little bit tight not 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 in a bad way but a little sore they need a little bit of massagey stuff you know they're kind of feeling a little hard right on right on okay now i'm gonna i'm gonna do it okay now i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it Hush. oh there he is Somebody's coming to interrupt my YouTube video. You're supposed to be in there training. I'm talking to my camera right now. Don't you know that this whole place is off limits? First, you didn't even watch my channel. First, you don't even watch my videos, and now you're gonna interrupt. I, this, tur this turns from a public parking lot into a private studio. You know that. So yeah, today I'm gonna do a whole body workout. My upper back feels a little bit sore uh, from, uh, I trained back three days in a row. I did some rows and did some rows again, and then I did some uh, pull downs. So now I'm gonna do some chest tonight. My chest feels like it could deal with a little bit of a pump. I could do some arms. I may do some uh, rotator cuff exercise, because it's always good to do those, do those nice and light. And then uh, I'm thinking I might do some leg press for legs because I did some heavy Smith machine one-legged squats last night, not squats, but one-legged squats. And uh, yeah, anyway, we're gonna play by ear. You know how this goes. I don't even know why I explain this shit to you. You guys already know this stuff. It's Galantians. You know, I just make this crap up as I go along. Because that's what makes it fun. So some of you are asking how to become a Galantian. Well, there's nothing really official about becoming a Galantian. Although, it does add a little bit more power to becoming a Galantian if you become ordained as one of the Galantiati. It's like the Illuminati, but with a Galantian twist. Yeah, I think I could start an order like the Knights Templar. We could call it the, the Galantians Templar, where you become custodians of the sacred information of bodybuilding. The Galantians Templar. Ah, now I'm onto something. Yes, so you can get initiated as a Galantian Templar, and then that will make you uh, 
Well, I don't know what it'll do, but it, it, you just have a name and stuff. It's kind of like wearing superhero underoos. Doesn't necessarily make you the superhero, but at least you get to pretend. I'm back. Any of you guys still here? Are you still listening to me? Are you still listening to me at this point? What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? Freaking trolls, man. You can just never get away from them. I warned you to shut your mouth. I warned you. Okay, that's it. Sorry you guys had to see that. But sometimes you gotta take care of the trolls. Sometimes you gotta take care of business. You know what I'm saying? Take care of business. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna create an accent now. Business. Take care of business. If you say business, that means you really mean business. It's not like business, because business is kind of like an official polite sort of business. But when you mean violent business, that's like business. I took care of business. This is what making a YouTube video looks like. It looks really stupid. No, no, I know. It looks really stupid. I know. Yeah. It looks stupid when you take care of business. Anyway, let's go trade. So I've been really liking dumbbell presses lately. I've been just sticking to dumbbell presses most of the time and staying away from barbell bench. Uh, although I have been doing a little bit of incline, but as far as flat goes, I've just been guided to do a little bit more dumbbell work than usual. Uh, this is just a preference, and I'm just trying to get that squeeze in the chest and really get a little bit more constant tension happening on the chest area. But that's just for varying things up, just to keep my mind interested in this whole training thing, right? So uh, I did about three or four sets of dumbbell presses, and then I went on to some seated rows, and I did about three or four sets there. And, uh, and then I worked my way through the arms and then I uh, went to legs. And instead of doing leg presses, I actually ended up doing squats. So I actually turned out to be more motivated than I thought uh, once I got in the gym and once I got the blood going. So yeah, you never know what's going to happen until you show up, right? So yeah, you just got to remember, man, you got the heart of a lion. The heart of a lion and you just got to just meet that gym and the pain in there and say who gives a shit whether you're the best or whether you're not it's about how you meet it it's about how you meet the pain how you meet the gym are you there are you intimate with it that's the most important thing instead of what the result is because there's always going to be somebody greater somebody bigger somebody better looking uh, for some of us, there's a lot of people that are bigger and better and better looking and all that. But the fact is, is that can you meet whatever is before you with the heart of a lion? Just do that. Good, good. Yeah. so that is the weak link, not anything else, because my shoulders will take over really easily, and you'll find as your bodybuilding that certain muscles will take over more so than others. So then you have to develop strategies to make sure you hit the muscle that is the weaker link.
I decided to stay light today on the triceps anyway, just because I wanted to hit those triceps and just get a good burn. Sometimes you just crave a burn. Sometimes just, I, I can't really explain it, but sometimes I just crave the burn instead of just the pressure on the muscle. And uh, both are beneficial. Sometimes doing that heavy weight is beneficial like I've talked about. And sometimes I just wanna burn that muscle out and just get a lot of blood flow in there. So this is where I felt the sweet spot was. Just at 135, I usually do two plates for a close grip, but I thought, hey, I'm just gonna pump out reps at 135 and I think I'll get a good result from that. So sometimes it's about chasing the feeling. Sometimes I just follow that. Yeah, I can't explain why. It's just, just, just what I do. Usually when I do whole body workouts, I do about three sets per body part. So I'll do three sets of triceps, three sets of biceps, three sets of shoulders, three sets, you know, you get the point. But sometimes when I feel I need a little bit more of a pump in an area, or I feel like there's just something missing, I might add a few sets depending on the exercise I'm doing. Because we all know some exercises are a lot more intense than others. You're right, like bicep curls aren't close to as intense on you as squats, for instance. So sometimes I'll make decisions, executive decisions, based on that. So three sets of squats sometimes is enough to put me on the floor if I go pretty close to failure in each one of those sets. Uh, but yeah, with bicep curls, sometimes I'll push it a little bit. I think it's Freddie Mercury. Speak of the devil, I'm going to be doing some squats. Look at that. I planned on doing leg presses, but then something inside me said, Jason, you're going to squat today. You're going to just go up and down with that bar on your back and see what happens. And yeah, I saw what happens. So stay tuned for that. Uh, spoiler alert, I actually squatted. That's what I did. After warming up for about three or four sets uh, with 135 and then 225, I went to 315. I didn't show you the clip of the 315 here because I did show uh, one of these clips before in another video and I don't want to double show you clips because I'm original like that. But the fact is, is that I did about three sets of 315. I decided not to go heavier today because it just felt right. It just felt right to do the higher reps and stick to 315. Uh, my legs were a little bit tight, a little bit sore because I have been training a lot of overall body workouts. Anyway, at this time I was doing a lot of whole body stuff. So because of that, my legs were a little bit tight so I could get away with a lot less volume as well and sometimes less intensity just because the frequency was quite so high. So this is the thing to take into account. When your frequency is super high, you might not necessarily be able to lift heavy as often or as much volume. You have to kind of back off on those two uh, parameters because if you go too heavy or too much volume all the time, then you're not gonna recover by the time the next workout comes around and then your frequency idea is going to be shot so it's kind of a different principle but that's basically how i work with the volume and uh, and and the intensity because again you have to adjust things depending on what you're doing with all the aspects of your training
God, am I tired. Man, I'm so tired. Are you tired? So that concludes my workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for tuning in. And if you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalandbodybuilding.com and thanks a lot to the Patreon supporters and take care for now. And oh yeah, oh yeah, I haven't done this pose in a while. I haven't done this pose in a while, but remember it's still trademark, copyrighted, and, and all that lawyer type legal shit, okay? Scorpion!